Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial of your simile topics. Today I'm going to be talking about pregnancy hormones and how each of these hormones shows up at different stages of uh, gestation. Okay, so let's talk about HCG first since this is the first one that appears in a pregnancy and it rises fast and falls fast and within within 10 weeks this hormone is gone okay we're not going to be seeing it anymore but it's going to rise very fast and it's one of the one of the hormones that is used for detection if there is pregnancy or not or if there is viable uh, fetus or not okay so that's HCG uh, HPL is human placenta lactogen that one is um, also detectable in early pregnancy but the interesting thing is that um, this is proportional to the fetal mass so uh, as the fetus grows in size the level of HPL is also going to grow in size uh, grow in, in <laughs> grow in number so as the mass of the fetus increases HPL level in the blood is also going to increase. Okay, so this is going to be seen as a straight line passing diagonally in a curve in the middle of the curve. Okay, so if imagine if this is a curve, it's going to be passing in the middle like that. That would be H HPL. Okay, so moving on to progesterone. Um, so Progesterone and HPL is very similar in terms of their properties and how they're secreted. So HPL and progesterone is going to be increasing in mass with increasing in it will increase with the increase in fetal mass. But the only difference is that in the earlier stages of pregnancy, progesterone is going to be released from um, the corpus luteum. So early on released from corpus luteum but later on progesterone is going to be released from um, it's going to be released from the placenta okay so but later on it will be released from placenta okay so that's one thing the second thing I want to talk about is that um, whenever you're going to see 17 hydroxyprogesterone, that is only going to be coming from the corpus luteum. So 17 hydroxyprogesterone only from corpus luteum. Okay, and the reason for that is because placenta does not have. 17 alpha hydroxylase okay so uh, placenta does not have have 17 alpha hydroxylase as a result it will not be able to make um, 70, uh, 17 uh, hydroxy progesterone and how does it happen let's do a quick review in our mind so pregnenolone is going to be converted to 17-hydroxypregnenolone by the enzyme 17-alpha-hydroxylase. Again, pregnenolone is then converted to progesterone, and progesterone can again be converted to 17-hydroxyprogesterone by 17-alpha-hydroxylase. So if you don't have 17-alpha-hydroxylase, it's a little difficult to make 17 alpha hydroxyprogesterone. So, 17 alpha hydroxylase is deficient in um, in the placenta. So, whenever you see 17 hydroxyprogesterone, you know that it's coming from the the corpus luteum, okay, from the ovary. All right. So that's uh, progesterone. Moving on to CRH. Okay, so CRH is going to be kind of low at the very beginning, 
but the level is going to be increasing during later stages of, of gestation. So we'll be seeing a sharp increase in placental CRH. Okay, so this CRH is, okay, first of all, we have to know that it's coming from placenta. Okay, and then um, it increases, in, increases uh, at 28 weeks gestation. Okay, and it plays a role in initiating labor and fetal long maturation. Right, so that's uh, CRH. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I will post these notes on my blog if you need them. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye for now.